everyone knows what's what's at stake here. The Dawson Creek Junior Canucks are getting ready to wrap the regular season. Dry land training on Thursday night was focused on recovery after a 4-2 loss in Fort St. John the night before. That's now two straight losses for the Canucks, both at the hands of the Huskies. They outworked us. I mean, the last two games we might have put together 40, 45 minutes and it reflected on the scoreboard. Wednesday's loss gave the Huskies the two points they needed to take third place from the Canucks. The top two teams getting a bye in the first round of the playoffs. We're biding for, you know, two big wins this weekend and uh, hopefully a loss on one team to put us back to where we need to be. If uh, Fort St. John loses, we win both games, absolutely. And then that puts us back to where we're at least into third place. I think second second be pretty tough right now. Five games this weekend in the Northwest Junior Hockey League. Friday night, the Junior Canucks will host the Fairview Flyers. No matter what happens, the Flyers will have enough points to finish first. It's a big game for the Junior Canucks in front of a home crowd. A crowd that's been hearing talk all season of how the Canucks have been strategizing, building a team to take the championship. Morale is good. It's tight right now because there's, there's a lot of stress on the boys and it's a lot of stress on the coaching staff trying to, you know, you, you build a team all year in, in hopes that, you know, come for your final push, you're sitting where you need to be. Um, I think we have that team, uh, our coaching staff does, uh, you know, the board of directors, everybody thinks that, that we have the team this year to, to go all the way. That's kind of been our goal since day one, like coming in here we knew we had the guys that uh, are capable of winning a championship and we're also here and fortunately we were able to even add some more guys later in the year so I don't think, I don't really think it adds pressure, I think it just holds accountability amongst everybody in the room and like we know what our goals are and we want to achieve them. Even with two wins to close out the regular season this weekend, it's unlikely the Canucks will get a top two spot and a bye in the first round of the playoffs. But a win Friday night against the first place Fairview Flyers would feel pretty good, especially on home ice. There's only a few boys that aren't local boys this year, um, so it's nice for them to see the local support of the people and, and just how the communities come together again. Uh, it seemed like uh, in past years it had kind of fallen off a little bit. Our last Friday home game there, like we had a lot of people out spectating and, uh, and we didn't we didn't pull that one out unfortunately, but it, those those games when we have a lot of fans show up, it, it means a lot to the guys. and. But uh, like we sure love playing in front of a hometown crowd like that, especially with as many local guys as we do have. So uh, we love the support we're getting from our hometown and our fans, and hopefully uh, we can keep it up and keep it going in the playoffs. It's an 8 o'clock start for the Dawson Creek Junior Canucks. Saturday night, they're in Grand Prairie. After that, a short wait for the playoff schedule. Amanda Kornowski, CJDC-TV Sports, Dawson Creek.